Okay, good afternoon and welcome to the War Room. I wanted to do a quick review of Oregon Laminations Plastic Counter Trimmers. I've had a couple of these for a while now and I've done several thousand counters with this one and I've just gotten this one recently and probably only done a few hundred to a thousand. But this one I've done several thousand and I just discovered yesterday that contrary to popular belief it is not foolproof. I discovered the spring was broken in several places. I didn't notice it until I actually went and put a little silicone on the mechanism to uh, lighten it up and get it to work a little better. So I had to go down to a hardware store and get a new spring which is not quite as rugged but which and not as much pushback but I actually like it better because it goes uh, much quicker. Now this one has the advantage of you almost can't screw up the counters. Um, but this one I think the advantage is it is pretty rugged. It doesn't break except for the spring so far. And it's pretty quick once you get going and get in a rhythm. This one on the other hand I've seen on other reviews has an issue and it breaks in here. Uh, with this piece which is just plastic but there's a really good review of that and how to put it back together but I just wanted to I've done ton, 10 already and I wanted to do 10 more real quick and see which is quicker and I think this little handheld plier one is actually quicker than the big scuttle shaped one now one of the things the disadvantage I've noticed of of course this one after many thousands of counters is that as you're going along and you do a few counters they start the little ends start to build up in the mechanism and it actually blocks your view so you gotta give it a little tap <clears throat> and dump them off to one side which just kind of breaks the rhythm a little bit also with this one if you're not careful and you don't get this in there right, I mean, you probably can't see it, but you can get this in there cocked to one side or the other and then you'll take more off than you intend and the counter will be lopsided and being like Mr. Monk from the TV series I find that very disturbing and I typically when doing a game have managed to ruin probably one counter per game and I can always see that counter, <laughs> no matter how many other counters there are in the game. So the advantage to this is it goes pretty quick. The silicon seems to have made a tremendous difference as well. It's much smoother, easier, and quicker than it was before, especially with this lighter spring. I kind of like that. We'll see how well it holds up. But for four bucks, I got a whole box of them at the hardware store, and I can easily replace it. So, there's those counters and how they came out, which in general are pretty good looking counters. Uh, if you're careful, once you get practiced, you can get them pretty smooth and pretty even. Now, the other one here, which I like because it's almost impossible to mess up uh, is a little bit stiffer and I can see why they probably break after a while because um, quite a bit of force goes into it it's also a little awkward to change the uh, counter to get all four corners uh, once you get used to it it's probably not too bad but the big advantage is it's they slide in here and you just kind of push it in with your thumb and you're not going to be able to take and make the counter lopsided like you can with the handheld one if you're not careful so the other thing I like a lot is that the, uh, the little fuzzball ends fall into the mechanism and then you dump them out later. They don't get in your way and build up and so you don't have to stop to clean the 
the little end pieces out of your way. It's taken a lot of practice too with that other one to get, so I only ruin one counter per game. So, you can see if I can get this to focus on it a little closer so you see what I mean about you've got to, you can't mess it up if you tried to put this in here cockeyed it's just not it just almost can't get it in there cockeyed really you can't get it into the mechanism cockeyed I'm sorry about the lighting here isn't showing that very well but that's basically the gist of the two machines and I don't know I like them both they both do a good job they both take a nice rounded uh, counter and uh, or make a nice rounded corner on the counter and I never used a counter clip but now since I started doing it I'm addicted so that's a quick review a little silicone I found a little silicone spray on a q-tip and then I put it on these posts and I also put a little on this face here and here on the face of the uh, cut cutting tool and there you can see the well you could see, sort of see the cutting chamber my backgrounds not good for this and uh, it made the tool go quite a bit easier so both good tools both worth the money if you're into counter clipping like I am and uh, that's my two cents worth and this review so thank you very much for watching uh, the war room and Remember, no fighting in the war room. Take care.